Welcome Art Display here for a Thursday. We've been joined by Yusuf Durudullah. He is a multidisciplinary Nigerian artist. He obtained a Nigerian certificate in education from the Department of Fine and Applied Arts, Federal College of Education, Akoka, Lagos, and majored in painting and graphics. He has joined us here today for Art Display. You are welcome, Mr. Durudullah. First off, your <laughs> art is mad intense, man. Thank for a day so and a much. half, I love what you do, and it's not restricted to one form. But tell us about your kind of art. How would you define your um, skills? Um, I'm Mr. Masino. Yes. Thank you. That is my name. <laughs> <laughs> so my art is um, an embodiment of different art forms. And it also um, reflects in where, my art, where I started my art from. Mm -hmm. At the age of seven, I started my art, and um, because my dad was a fashion designer, oh, okay. and um, he was teaching me how to sew. But during mm. the, those period, I was just seeing lines, mm. and that is the, um, one of the pieces that we are showing here. Mm. That so, uh, from there, I move on to you know graphics, mm. from there to other art forms. So my art is an embodiment. Of a whole lines. lot of different expressions. Yeah. Let's start with this one right here. These lines. Is that what you're talking about? Yeah. This is oil on canvas. This is acrylic. Acrylic, yeah. What, tell us about this, this um, piece. I, this was generated from one of my performances. Mm. You know, I'm a performance artist. Mm -hmm. So during the COVID, the heat of the COVID, mm -hmm. I did uh, four performances for COVID. And this is the last one that mm. I tied to, or where, where, where. Say so, that again. Or where, where, where. Or where, where, where. Yes. What does it mean? So it means um, uh, the, the cleanser, the clean, mm. you know, and that is God. Oh. So, and um, um, in this performance, I was talking about how we use leaves, mm. you know, to heal the ailment. Yeah. And we have it in Africa. So mm. what, is, what is it that we cannot heal? Yeah. So now that yeah. reference is in reference to the pandemic, the COVID. Yes, the pandemic. Ah, I see that. So now. and this line, the the work I tie to connection. Mm. So we are all together, and mm. until when we come together, and we can solve our problem. Yeah. If we, if we don't agree with each one another, there's no way we want to move on. Interesting. That is very that. beautiful, very nice. Now, um, we're surrounded by your artwork, but I'm going to take them one by one, and I want to capture all of them. The one behind you is of a little girl who's pointing a finger. Um, it is, it's, it, it seems like it's from a real person or you had someone who, in mind when you painted that, did you? Tell us about it. Um, I also did this one during the COVID. Okay. You know, and yeah. Tell me it's your daughter. It's your daughter, isn't it? Uh, no, my daughter. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I teach kids. Ah. Yeah, so, and um, I really love their expressions. Mm. And so here, I was celebrating the those that are the battle during the COVID, which are mm. the eight cares. Yeah. So eight uh, givers. So here, oh. the title here is that moment. Mm. You know, when a nurse or a doctor see the patient, you know, um, developing or, mm. you know, healing. So the, that moment, the, there is a joy mm. that, oh, this person is recovering. And that is what I'm celebrating about the doctors during the, mm. those period that mm. when they are seeing the results that the covid is you know we are healing some people so they get you know happy and yeah. this is actually meant for the um, hospitals yeah okay i see it clearer now it's actually of a caregiver yeah. um a very childlike expression however but very colorful as well yeah we're gonna move on real quickly to one of my best pieces here which is the one right next to me <laughs> first of all when you brought this in i asked is it the back or the front <laughs> because i didn't know that if this was some mechanism that's working some maybe time piece behind but apparently that is the front this is a totally different kind of expression from the first two that we spoke about what is this i beg <laughs> yeah this is a recycling work Mm. So it's an experimental art form. Here, um, we're talking about the, the environment, how we litter the environment and, you know, using art to educate the community mm -hmm. and the member of the community that what we call the waste is not actually the waste mm. until when we see it as a waste. So it is our mindset that makes us to see that they are wastes. Mm. So until when we channel them to a proper... Um, 
their proper location, their space, mm -hmm. then we begin to mm -hmm. have an appreciation for them. So in this piece, because you are seeing it now, I've been able to use mm -hmm. them in a proper form, mm. in an art form, so you appreciate them. So yeah. the same thing with other art forms, other wastes. Yeah. If we actually channel them to where they're supposed to be, we all appreciate them. Yeah, very true. And so, You've got, so you, have you had success in selling pieces like this? Yes. Who buys them? Um, art collectors. Art collectors. Art lovers. Okay. And, um, you know, presently there is, a, there is a show on the recycled work. Mm. Yeah. You know, and the massive one, yeah, there we have eight artists doing their recycling mm. um, work, mm. and that is to educate the uh, society. On to our final one, which I would say defines you, because you, your calm expressions are just so... To the far right of me is that expression which actually has writings in Yoruba. Um, it's also um, covered with a glass plane. I find it very, very exquisite. I find it very <laughs> calming. You do tell us about it yeah. and what the inscriptions on it are. That is a um, prison of Ibiji. Twins. Mm. You know, in Yoruba, they will say, Ejire, Arai Sokoli. So when you look at the text, the mm -hmm. one on top, mm -hmm. and that is simply mean Ejire, Arai Sokoli. And that is the second art form that I was introduced to by my brother, mm. who happens to be a graphic artist. Nice. So here we have Ejire, Arai Sokoli. Edo Jobi, Edo Pelengetin Shiri Origi. Obeke se Bekasa. So it's, um, All of that in that painting. <laughs> <laughs> that is exactly what we have in wow. that song. But that is a calligraph, a creative writing. Wow. So it's that beautiful. is what we have. It's that. also got material behind it. And it seemed yeah. like you... Did you paint on the material yeah. or on the glass plane? Which that's was a, it? That's a canvas at the back. Canvas, okay. You know, with an okay. um, abstract painting. Oh, wow. It is, it is absolutely beautiful. So you see what I meant in the beginning when I said that your art is not pedestrian, it's not stagnant. It moves from one piece, from one form to the other. Your expressions are totally, you know, like very, very creative. Um, I want to ask how, what differentiates you from the regular person, a regular artist, but I think I've already just <laughs> said that in my own um, ex expressions or explanation of that. But what would you say is the one thing that absolutely separates you from every other artist? What makes you absolutely unique? We can see some of your artwork on television, by the way. And these are some of uh, Duro Dollar's other pieces that we couldn't bring into the studio, which are fantastic. But let's hear you on, on, on that difference um, I was asking about. Because I'm sincere with myself. Sincerity is what will make you different from other people. These, the art form that I practice, talks about my journey from where I started my mm. art career from and where I am. And I'm not going to you know, stand here. Mm -hmm. uh, so you know, the art is a journey that mm -hmm. you have to just continue going. I also hear that there are some very interesting um, anatomic pieces you have in your gallery, which, <laughs> which we cannot bring on air today. Oh my God. But yes, yeah. we know about them, Mr. <laughs> Drew In any case, fantastic work. We appreciate the fact that you've shared them with us here on Breakfast uh, uh, on Wave of Nigeria. And we look forward to seeing more of them. And of course, you've seen his uh, handle on our screen. So you can follow him and check out those very interesting art forms that I spoke about from earlier. Thank you once again. Thank you so Thank you much. very much for staying tuned. We'll be right back. It's still Wake Up Nigeria.